Hi guys, today we're gonna check out iOS 10 Beta 2 on the iPhone 5S. So a first change right here that is on the lock screen is that we have a new unlock animation as you can see right over here. So let me just try that again. And over here you can see that new animation. Alright, so over here at the notification center, the word miss has been changed to recent. And you can slide left again to access your notification center widgets. Also over here at control center, we have some new icons for the Apple TV and Bluetooth speakers. Also, we have this new animation for Siri. So when you call Siri over here, as you can see, the icons on the home screen somewhat zooms out. As you can see right here, and that is a new animation for Siri. Also, there is a new application available on the developer preview, which is Feedback. So if you don't know Feedback, this is available on public betas. With this thing, you could submit reports of bugs that you saw on the iOS beta that you are currently using. So this is incredibly useful and you could use this to submit reports to Apple in order for them to improve the system. So you could check this application out and you could go ahead and create your report and submit them to Apple. So that is feedback. Also when you change over here is that the news application is now available to be removed on your home screen. So it is up to you whether you want to keep or remove your news application. Also there are some changes inside settings such as over here. The HomeKit application has a new icon inside settings from the previous yellow one to this new one. Also inside map settings over here, when you scroll down, we have here a new option to show part location. So you could use this if you have CarPlay on your car and you could go ahead and track the location of your car on its car park. So that is maps. Also here at messages, when you scroll down, we have here low quality image mode. So with this thing, this reduces the quality of what you are about to send in messages in order for you to save space and send that image a lot more faster. So that is the new setting in messages. Also, when you go to accessibility settings, as we are doing right now, and you scroll down to home button over here, we have here this new setting for rest finger to unlock. So with this thing, you could just rest your finger in order for you to unlock your iPhone. Also, some changes inside the music application over here is that downloaded music has been renamed to downloads, which is a lot more simple. And also, when you navigate to songs, you already have a quick access to the shuffle button in order for you to quickly shuffle all of your songs. Also over here at the now playing screen, for instance, you are listening to your Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speakers, or just using AirPlay to play your music, your device should show up here at the now playing screen. So that is a change in the music application. So inside here at mail, we have here a new icon for the filter list over here. So that is the new filter icon for the mail application. Also inside the health application over here on the medical ID section, when you scroll down, you have your organ donation. So you could immediately sign up over here in order for you to become an organ donor if you want to donate your organs. So that is organ donation on the health app. So the next change over here is inside the watch application. So if you have an Apple Watch, you could go ahead and check your face gallery and you have here this new category for featured complications. So these faces are paired with certain app complications. As you can see right here for music and for workout and some other applications that are also available. And that is the change for the watch application. So another change here inside messages, and for instance, you click this app store icon over here, 
and you click this icon on the bottom left corner and you click here store and it will search the app store for applications that support iMessage on iOS 10. Well, for some reason, I can't get it to work right now. Maybe it's only available on some areas. Also, a change over here is when you quickly access an application and you go ahead and close it, we have that new animation. So that is it guys, so that is iOS 10 beta 2 on the iPhone 5s. So as always guys, remember that this is just a beta and Apple will continue to improve its future betas in terms of performance, features, or even do some minor changes in design. So I know that some of you are already using iOS 10. You could go ahead and use that feedback application to submit some bug reports or even suggest some minor improvements. So if you want to watch these videos that are not appearing on the screen, go ahead and click the cards button in order for you to watch it. So that is it guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.